Face Amitsare. Hello, Simon Rainier of Lynx Amitsare. And, here's a hot take. Uh, Vikings are cool. Swords are cool. That means Viking swords are double cool. This is a cool Viking sword. It's a black fencer synthetic. Um, nylon blade, uh, not steel, that's okay. Um, but what's really great about it is the grip is the correct size. It just barely fits my hand. Um, the feel and weight of it is spot on perfect. And I don't even know if this is like intentional or a mistake that just happens to be a perfectly done mistake. Uh, the pommel, I don't even know if you can really tell, is very slightly canted. Um, what this means is this turns this into a right-handed sword. This little pointy bit of the pommel, as I extend out for a cut, slides right past the meaty bit of my uh, thumb, as opposed to if it were pointed the other way, that would dig right into it, which would be uncomfortable to hold. Even if I'm just holding it, like that's kind of uncomfortable, as opposed to over here, it's comfortable. Um, but, uh, despite this, the sort of Viking era sword does have a few disadvantages as well. Um, it is also not really a Viking sword per se, so much as a Scandinavian and more probably accurately uh, Frankish sword from the Dark Ages, which are not really properly the Dark Ages. Let's not agree not to go down the historical rabbit hole and just call it a Viking sword for now. Um, I think that's accurate enough and more importantly, conveys proper information. Um, anyway, uh, it's not really a thrusting sword at all. It does have a little bit of a tip to it. Uh, but if you pick up like a properly weighted balanced one of these, uh, you can tell right away it wants to chop. Uh, not even slice, it wants to chop. Um, you can, you can do slicing cuts with it, but uh, I always like to say like your first teacher is the sword as a sword instructor. Uh, it's mostly my job to teach you how to listen to what the sword wants to do on its own already. Um, this is a, a choppy beast and I love it. Uh, properly, you know, this one's not going to cut anything, but uh, steel uh, sharp uh, Viking swords are among the best cutters you can you can find. Um, with that in mind, uh, again, not great on the thrust. If you like to do a lot of thrusty stuff, probably this is not your sword. That's cool. There's lots of other options. Um, the other thing is it doesn't have a lot of hand protection. Uh, there is a solid reason for this, is the shield. Um, I'm not going to be talking about fighting with the Viking shield, um, because that's a whole, whole thing unto itself. Um, what I really want to talk about is if you have to use this alone. And despite what some people may say of the Viking sword is always fought with a shield, it's not, it's not. We know this. We know this two basic ways. First off, just by stopping to think about it. Swords are status symbols. If you can carry a sword with you, you're probably gonna want to carry a sword with you basically everywhere you go. Um, and it's easy enough to do. Swords are basically designed to be uh, handy weapons anywhere you have them. Shields, not so much. That is a purpose-built battlefield uh, thing. I know I'm going to be in a fight, so I bring my shield. If I don't know I'm gonna be in a fight, I might just bring a sword. Um, it's a self-defense weapon or a backup weapon, or a sidearm, or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's important to keep in mind that sometimes swords were just used on their own. Uh, and we know this on a second level, because in the Icelandic sagas, it talks about people fighting with just swords, or just axes, or just knives, or various combinations thereof, or throwing rocks at each other. Like, that's, that's mentioned in the sagas, too. Um, read the sagas, they're fun. Um, anyway, uh, so, no hand protection, which is hypercritical when it comes to uh, any kind of sword fight, particularly if you are, um, no, not even, and it's any kind of sword fight, you want to protect your hands. Um, shield does that very, very well, but you don't have a shield, you just have a sword. Um, there is, really the main way of doing that is to not leave it hanging out, right? Anytime you attack, 
you make your hand vulnerable because it automatically becomes the closest target. Uh, so we want to keep it low and down for basically the entirety of its time until it comes, we find an opportunity to deliver great injury to our opponent. Why down? Why not up? You could do up. Um, you definitely could. Uh, it's a lot easier uh, for your opponent to um, defend against that. A downward strike is one of the easiest things to defend against. Um, and if you don't do it right, they just kind of come up and, and take your hand off. Uh, and we don't want that. Um, whereas down, it's a lot more defensive. We can um, use the back edge of our sword to parry aside blows. Super, super useful technique. Uh, and then come down and attack either open arm targets or head or anything we feel like attacking as we have now opened them up to a counterattack. Off hands are also super useful for keeping yourself safe. Um, again, by way of having more defensive options when the sword is down low, if we bring our sword up to block an incoming strike, we can bring our arm forward for a grab and a chop. Um, unfortunately, none of this is really recorded. Uh, people of this era did not write down manuals on how to fight each other. Uh, probably for a number of reasons, two of which I can think of that I would believe personally offhand is writing is expensive um, and there might have been a cultural idea as if you couldn't remember this stuff as you were taught it, you probably didn't deserve to know it. Um, yeah, it, different fighting cultures, right? Very, very few cult fighting cultures historically have written down uh, how to fight. Um, but uh, this is not often touted as a great uh, dueling weapon on its own uh, for the reasons we have uh, laid out. Um, but at the same time, I would urge you not to discount it because once this gets through, it's going to do a heck of a lot of damage. Um, mostly, uh, this is one of my favorite styles of swords just because they are so so cool they, they 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 sing to me so to speak um yeah um get yourself a viking sword a good one uh the black pencil one really good good option um and go have fun uh let's all go viking yay um that was the worst battle cry in history